guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking all about Brielle's independent readers that I have for her this year. Are you excited, Brie? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so Brielle asked for me to uh, have her be in this video as we share all of her independent readers. A lot of these readers that I'm going to share with you guys today are going to be uh, mirror books and window books. Mirror books meaning that there are going to be a lot of books that Brielle can re relate to. Uh, a lot of books of characters that are people like her, especially young girls. So if you have any young girls, a lot of these book recommendations that we're going to be sharing with you guys today uh, will definitely be for them. So I'm sorry if you have any boys out there. I am doing my best to uh, make sure we have a more diverse selection of literature. But when it comes to Brielle's independent readers, I honestly just want her to have fun and enjoy reading. So last year, Brielle actually read 30 books over the course of the year. So we picked out about 30 books for her to read. Uh, these are bigger chapter books, so she may not get through all of them. She may, but I'm just happy we have these books on hand and we don't have to like go back and forth to the library because she didn't like that, did you? <laughs> she didn't like like having the time frame for us returning library books. She kind of likes having them on hand. So I have been collecting books. So the first books I'm going to share with you guys are going to be her assigned readers. I have a few assigned readers that she's going to be reading when we get to specific historical events within our history. And I really think that she can uh, take on the challenge of having an assigned reader and doing some type of like hands on project with these assigned readers. And um, again, uh, if we get to all these, that's good. If not, it's okay too. Some of these assigned readers are below her reading level, which is absolutely fine. Uh, I like giving her readers that are below her reading level when it comes to us doing more things with them as far as like assigned readers. So Brielle is going to be reading the Addie series. The first three books, I don't actually have it on hand because my niece is borrowing them right now. So she's going to be reading those. I'm going to insert like a clip of those three books she's going to be reading when we get to like the Civil War time period within our history. I think she would definitely enjoy reading that series as an assigned reader. Uh, another assigned reader I have for her is uh, Sarah plain and tall this is one of the sunlight readers and i definitely think she will enjoy reading this one we have the courage of sarah noble she just has to read this one you guys i have a uh, crispus attic crispus Atticus and this is actually one of the readers from the Heritage Mom blogs uh, Black History is American History uh, readers and I selected a few of them for us to add into our history this year and this is just one of the books where she's going to be learning about Crispus Atticus and then another book she's going to be reading from the Heritage Mom uh, selection is The Kidnapped Prince. I have a reader she's going to be reading for science, which is who is Katherine Johnson, especially when we get into space. Uh, she will definitely love reading this and I'm going to challenge her to maybe do some type of writing assignment after she reads this book about Katherine Johnson. So these are her few independent readers that I do have that she is going to read and have like some type of assignment with. But other than that, the rest of the literature we are going to be showing you guys are just going to be things she's going to be reading for fun. Okay, Bree, so you can start with your stack. Okay. This is the last day of summer. I already read this book, so. Okay, yeah, so that one was the, let's see, Brie. So this one was the last day of summer and Brielle already read this book. This was your first uh, book for the school year, right? Yeah. So she really enjoyed this one. So I told her we're gonna still share some of the books she already read. So this one was a good one, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have the rest of the series of The Lemonade War. We actually read The Lemonade War um, for one of our read alouds and we did a Brave Writer Literature Guide with it. It was so much fun. Did you like that one, Brie? Yes, I loved it. <laughs> so what I did was I went ahead and I got this big book that has the next two in a series, which is uh, the lemon, the lemonade crime, and the bell bandit. So uh, Brielle can spend her time reading these last two books on her own. I'm kind of jealous, you guys. I think I want to, you know, read the rest of it because this series was so cute. <laughs> so Brie definitely has to like tell me what happened in the series. Okay, Brie, show me your stack. Right now, I'm reading the president of the fifth grade. Okay, yeah. So Brie's reading the president of the fifth grade. That one looks really, really good. I already have the president of the sixth grade ready for her as well. I'm gonna read a second. You gonna read it second semester? Okay, so if she gets through these, she says she wants to read the president of the sixth grade. Okay, so I have Operation Sisterhood. So this looks like it's a lot of fun. It's about a group of girls and you know, we'll see what they get up to. So what you have, Brie? I have Doodleville and it is a uh, comic book. Okay, let's, you wanna show them? Yeah, so the inside, it has like pictures instead of like 
a lot of words. So I uh, decided to get something a little bit different for Brielle. So she's going to be reading some comics this year and I think she will enjoy them and it might give her a break from some of the bigger chapter books that she has. So I have the miscalculations of Lightning Girl and I seen, uh, who is it, Jennifer? She showed this on her channel. Her and her daughter read this and I thought this would be a fun one, especially since the girl, she was homeschooled and I think that this will be a fun one for Brie. So uh, this is an excellent middle grade reader. So we definitely will give you guys a review on all of these books after she finished reading them but for right now we're just showing you the titles so this is the adventures of lightning girl okay Brie you, you excited to read that one okay what's next next book is called strange birds strange birds that and one they look like they're gonna be going on a big adventure yeah they do that one looks good I have mango delight <laughs> okay and this one is the second book to Fast Pitch, and it's called Queen Getaway. Okay, this one is actually the second book to Fast Pitch, and I think I shared that with you guys during our summer uh, read aloud. So this is the second part that goes to it. I have the sweetest sound, and this one looks so good. <laughs> okay, Brie, what's next? This one's a children's book, and it says, See me, hear me, and you me. Oh, that one looks awesome. Mm -hmm. I have the swagger is in the socks. <laughs> this one looks so good. This one actually was a free book. Kellogg's is having like their free uh, books uh, that they're giving out when you buy a box of cereal. So this one was a free one that I picked out for Brie. So hopefully she likes this one. This one's called The Year of Miss Agnes. If you guys see my read aloud video, you will know Brielle, she stole that one because she wanted to read it on her own. So I had to repick another read aloud, but it's perfectly fine. I think she will enjoy the year of Miss Agnes. I have uh, Annie of West Philly. And again, this is like another comic book and I hopefully she will enjoy it. It will introduce her to another form of uh, writing styles or reading styles as well. So yeah. This one's called Amina's Voice. I mean, that's always, oh, that looks awesome. So I have The Serpent's Fury and The Griffin's Lair. Uh, what was the first book called, Brie, again? First book was called... I remember a royal guide to um, uh, Monster Slam. Slam. Brielle read that over the summer. So I went on Amazon and I bought her the next two books of that series so she can like uh, read those. So you excited about these, Brie? Mm -hmm. This was definitely different because it was like fantasy. Uh, and Brielle, this was her first time being introduced to like uh, monsters, dragons, all that type of thing in literature. And she really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Brie. -Brie. This one's called Like Magic. Like Magic. I have the only black girls in town. This one's called Just Like Jillian. Okay, something to say. The first rule of punk. The first rule of punk. All right, and I'm gonna let Brielle share the last two books that I have uh, selected out for her independent readers. These are caught the book wonders. The Book Wanderers. So I'm really excited for Brielle to read these. Um, I think we do have Anna Green Gables is like the only uh, series she hasn't read. Hopefully she can still read these and have fun even though she hasn't read the Anne, you know, Anna Green Gables um, literature. So I'm really excited for her to read this series. So you guys, this is like all of Brielle's independent readers. We are so excited about all the selections. Uh, and I really hope uh, we can come back to you guys with like a review at the end of the year and she can kind of share some of her favorites if you guys are looking for like more um younger chapter books like that she has read in like third grade i can uh, link the video down below of her independent readers that she read then especially if you guys have like younger kiddos as well so you guys thank you for watching thank you for, for, for <laughs> being on this done. video <laughs> and i look forward to seeing everybody in my next one bye, bye. <laughs>